Hello and welcome back to the wood shop. I've got a very quick small project here today. Taryn likes making pens on the lathe and it goes through a fairly decent amount of the mesh strip abrasives, but each pen doesn't really consume the abrasive completely. So she wanted some way to sort them and see which grid is which once she's finished with them. So we've got a little kit here, which is going to separate out the 180, 243, 20, 400 and 600 grits, as well as the micro mesh polishing pads. So when she's cut a strip and she's used it part way, she can store them in this and we'll be able to reuse them. The mesh strips are double-sided, so you can get double use out of them that way. So let's get assembling. This kit is just laser cut box joint parts, and we're going to assemble it and use some CA to glue it together. This is Hobby King CA. It's fairly decent, it's thin. I'll use some elastic bands to hold everything in place when it's done. I think first of all, I'm gonna put in my dividers. These are also the end pieces. There we go, this will hold one inch or 25 millimeter strips in there and then the 70 millimeter square micro mesh pads. And this big box of half kilo of elastic bands. We've got some segmented turning projects coming up. I need some elastic bands for that. As well as just, they're handy to have, right? About to it. I'm not going to use kicker on this, I'm just going to put the CA in and let it wick through. The CA doesn't really stick to elastic bands terribly well, it does a little bit, but not overly well. There you go, let that wick in and cure up and see how it works. Well, it looks like the glue is finally set on this, so let's pull these rubber bands off and see if things will fit inside. Okay, well, it's holding together. Glue's obviously done its job, which is fantastic. Have our micro mesh pad system here. These are the 70 millimeter versions. They can all just sit in there nicely. And we have just some random strips from lying around the workshop of bits of mesh. I have no idea what specific grit these are. I'm just testing to see if they'll fit inside. Looks like they all fit. So that's going to be a really cool tool for Taryn to have sitting by the lathe for her to put her different meshes in. So she goes through different finishing cycles of different pens. She'll be able to refer back to this and pull out the grits which she needs. I'm going to put the design for this up on GitHub as a non-commercial open source design. So you can use it for personal use, but not for sale. If you don't have a laser cutter, you can buy one of these on Etsy. I'm putting them up really cheap just to see if anyone's interested. Obviously this channel doesn't get a huge amount of views or have a lot of subscribers. So I don't really expect any sales, but I figure if one of you out there does happen to think this is useful, you can buy one or you can make your own. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any suggestions on how to improve this or any other shop tools, leave a comment below. Really appreciate any feedback you've got. Love it if you could come along for the journey. If you haven't subscribed already, hit subscribe down below. Click the bell for notifications. If you think this is gonna help out your woodworking, leave a like, be much appreciated. Have a fantastic day.